Inflation, inflation, inflation. It's the new buzzword. Inflation is the rate of increase in prices over a given period of time. Right now, inflation is at an almost 30 year high hovering around 5%. Normally the price of borrowing money would increase in order to curb the inflation, but as we can see, that's not the case. So they increase mortgage rates in order to curb inflation, but mortgage rates really haven't been going up. They've gone up a tiny bit, but nothing to brag home about. So in this video, we'll be taking a look to see if that has had any negative impacts on the market for the month of October. Now let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Sigma Real Estate Studios. And today we're talking about the Westchester County October market update. Today we'll be going over the five key indicators of the market as usual. Now, as usual, I haven't looked at these numbers either, so I'm very excited to see whether prices keep going up, whether they stabilize, what's going on with the days on the market, what's going on with, I mean, A to Z. So today we're gonna look at median sales price, new listings, pending sales, days on market, and homes for sale. Kicking us off today first is median sales price. Let's fire this up. So, and, oh, what is this I see? Is this a dip? Is this a dippity doo dah? $4,000? Huh? Is that what we're seeing? Wow. Wow. 12 month rolling average for the first time. Uh, let's see, when was the last dip? February was the last time we saw a dip. And here we are September with another dip. Just don't double dip, okay? Double dipping is not cool. Let's see the rolling monthly. Wow. So March. March to June, huge spike, kind of held. August, September, October. From 887, we're going down to 715. Now on the one month rolling average, the reason why I kind of don't like to use this number is because if you have a ton of luxury properties that hit the market, it could look like the prices are that much higher when you're pulling the medians, but in reality, we just had more higher priced homes. This is why I like looking at the 12 month average, but I mean, this just, this looks like a heartbeat here. Second up new listings. So we see a decrease in price. So let's see kind of what's going on in terms of inventory. So new listings are just on a rapid decline now since May. So June, July, August, September, October, all on declines. And right now, 8,500. But let's take a look at 10 years. So this kind of seems to be the sweet spot. I would probably say right here between the two. So we're kind of at a 10 year average right now. I mean, granted, yes, we had this huge dip, but then we also had a huge increase. So I get it that in the, in the now market, right? In the now market, it looks like there's not a lot of inventory, but if, we're looking over the last 10 years, this kind of looks pretty level to me as to where it should be, right? We had these huge spikes here, but we also had dips here. Same thing, we went super down, but then we went super high. So this is kind of uh, looking very good. So we have prices dipping slightly, but we also have the amount of new listings dipping. So we could kind of be at that point where buyers no longer see the value at the prices we're at. So they've hit a ceiling, right? Here's the ceiling, here's the buyer. This is this is it. They're saying now it's time, like this is our max. So we might start to see properties come down in value even though we're not seeing more inventory. Shameless plug, if you need help buying or selling real estate, then go ahead and click that Calendly link down below to schedule a free 15 minute call with myself or a member of the team. Okay, third up we have pending sales. Now hopefully this will kind of help tell us a better story. Here we go. And pending sales are also dropping. Again, this one though could be due to the inventory, right? Less inventory, less homes to sell, less buyers buying them. And this is leading to a decline in pending sales. Now, again, it's very interesting to see is that due to the pricing having gone up so high and buyers no longer seeing that value? Or is this just because there's not a lot of inventory? Fourth up, days on market. Let's see what this is telling us. And we've plateaued. So 27, that's for the year. But how about for the month? Are you seeing what I'm seeing? 
we are actually now seeing days on market increasing for Westchester County on a monthly level. Days on market are going up. So let's kind of recap, right? We have sales price, right? On a monthly level going down. We have new listings on a monthly level going down. We have pending sales going up. And we also have days on market going up. It's almost like it doesn't make sense. You have properties sitting longer, but you have more sales. Huh. Okay. Fifth up, homes for sale. Now, maybe this can paint a better picture on exactly what's going on. The other thing, there is FOMO, right? FOMO buying, fear of missing out. There is a good chance that with people seeing rates slightly going up, that all of a sudden this is causing another spur of buyers to try to get into a home as quickly as possible. And that could be one of the contributing factors to why we saw the properties go up so much in terms of pending sales, even though listings are down. So it's kind of interesting right now. And last but not least, number five, homes for sale. And this is on the year, just declining more and more and more. But let's look on the monthly, same thing. So no matter what, there are less and less homes. We actually saw inventory creeping up here, but now once again, it's just falling by the wayside. Now I do wanna see months of supply as well. So an equilibrium market would kind of sit right around here, neither buyer market nor seller market, kind of a mix. As you can see for the last three years, it's kind of been all buyer related, very buyer heavy. And then right now it's all seller heavy. So this is like, you can see the difference right now. This is huge. So on average in May of 2019, it was taking seven months of, of no inventory in order to sell everything. Now though, we are down to two and a half months in, uh, in June kind of as the average, and then right now to, so say two months. In two months from now, if we get no new houses, we'll have no houses to sell, which means if you have a house to sell, not only are you getting top dollar, but you're getting your pick of the litter with buyers. That means you get to cherry pick the best buyer, the best pricing, the best outcome, the best scenario, everything. And on top of all of that, if that's not enough, when you have multiple offers like that, it also increases your chance of not having to deduct anything based on inspection findings. So with that being said, this is prime time to list your property. Overall though, I can say that most properties, especially if they're sitting in that key price point, the starter home price point for certain markets, the mid range price points for certain markets, those homes right now, you're not seeing them sit. They are going very fast. One thing that we're noticing that's a little bit different is we're not seeing the amount of offers we were seeing, you know, right after all of this occurred. We're seeing, you know, maybe three or four on average. Although I will say this, I just put in a bid on a house with a buyer and there were 12 offers on the property. Again, it was in that $500,000 price range. It was a multifamily, so even better, but that thing went, I'm sure, right over the asking price and that seller got to pick the best person for that house. So if you are right now planning on jumping in the market, number one, what I would highly recommend to you is speak with a lender, get your financing in, in order because without the financing, number one, most agents probably aren't even gonna show you a property. Number two, when you do all of this, it allows you to act quickly. Now I will also say this, on that property I just mentioned, that listing agent had also reached out to the lender to verify that the lender had verified everything for the buyer. Now, if you haven't done any of that, when that uh, agent goes to verify with your lender, the lender will have no choice but to say, no, I did not verify their, their credit, income, and assets. And guess what that's gonna do? It's gonna take your offer and put it to the bottom of the barrel. Even if your offer happens to be 30, 40, 50,000 uh, higher than the other offers. Doesn't really look like you're committed. You didn't even get your docs verified. So just saying, that's my number one piece of advice is get your financing in order. Number two, don't be emotional when you're out there shopping. However, if the home truly lines up with what you want and you wanna go over asking on it, listen, I just bought a car and 
it had a value. Now, on top of that value, there was a markup of 10,000. It was still justifiable to me. So I went ahead and did it. Same thing goes with real estate. If you find a house and it checks off all of your boxes and you have to go $50,000 above the asking price, that's probably only going to be minimal dollars on your monthly payment. So if you know and you're convinced that that's the property, then you, you're you going to do whatever it takes to get it. That I'm sure of. And the last piece of advice, and this is really where an agent can guide you into, into saying, listen, this is the house. This is exactly what we're going to do. We know your entire situation. We know what your down payment is. We know how much cash we're working with in the bank. Like we know A to Z about you. Let me structure this deal for you to ensure that you get it. So the last piece of advice is before you even go out there looking at properties, sit down with an agent, do a, um, a buyer's consultation with them. They should be offering this to you, not the other way around, but you should be sitting with an agent doing a buyer's consultation. They'll go over some, you know, silly things, who, what, where, when, why about uh, what you're looking for, who's buying, what are you looking for, why are you buying, when do you need to buy or sell, whatever it might be. So the buyer's consultation is really, really, really something you should be taking advantage of. And most agents offer it for free, so there's no reason not to, okay? Now, I am really interested to see kind of what's gonna happen November, December, January. We are still dealing with a lot of supply issues. That's really the biggest problem we're having right now. And it's not just in real estate, it's in everything. Try to go online and order anything electronic related. Or when you go to the grocery store, you're already noticing that there's a lot of stuff sold out. So it's it's alarming to an extent, but it's also very interesting to see kind of how we're going to adapt as a country moving forward for the next few months. And on top of all of that, let's not forget Zillow announced that not only are they laying off 25% of their staff, but I think it was something like $500 million dollars in lost revenue on the homes they purchased that they now have to sell. So all that real estate they bought, they are now selling for less than it's worth. So that is, I don't want to say that it's going to rock the market, but that could be a domino that does trickle other dominoes. So I'm going to be keeping an eye on all this stuff. Anytime something drastic happens or we hear anything crazy, I'll be bringing it to you. One last thing I do want to say, we are starting a new series called Exploring New York. It's something I'm super excited about. We'll be showcasing different trails um, that you can hike around, different outdoor activities. So something that's really cool because a lot of people, not only do they care about the neighborhood they're moving into and the school district and the price points and the taxes, but they also care about what can I do in those areas. So we're going to be tackling that. So do me a favor. If you want to be notified when videos like that come out, then please go ahead, hit the subscribe button, ding the bell, and I will see you here next time. I'm your host, Jimmy O'Don, and this was the Westchester October Update.